to the Cutler IO Academy, where industry experts share tips and tricks on working with data. In this video, we will show you how to connect Google Ads to Power BI. Hi, my name's Annie. Exporting Google AdWords to Power BI makes a lot of sense because it lets you build interactive and fully customizable dashboards of any type. Think of the possibilities it opens up. There are various ways to connect both apps. Here, I want to show you one that's fully automated, takes just a few minutes to set up and can simplify your data flows without any coding. The solution I'm talking about is Coupler IO, a platform that turns complex data into simple reports. It can connect over 70 apps to Power BI, as well as other supported apps such as Excel or BigQuery. To connect Google Ads to Power BI, sign up for a free 14-day trial. No credit card is required. From the list of sources, pick Google Ads. As a destination for your data, go with Power BI. Now, I'm interested in fetching data on my ad groups, so I'll name the importer accordingly. Next, connect your Google account and grant the necessary permissions. Choose one or more ad accounts to fetch the data from. Next, you've got to choose the type of report you want to collect from Google Ads to Power BI. The most popular ones are at the top of the list. Scroll down the list to see all available reports. Core components, available for export, campaign settings, strategies and constants, and other miscellaneous types of Google Ads data. Like I said, I've got ad groups on my mind, so I'll choose the relevant performance report. The following options are optional, but let's go through them quickly. Adjust the reporting period if you'd like, either using macros or setting fixed dates. Choose how to split your data. By default, it splits by dates, which will work absolutely fine for me. Tweak the conversion window for your Google Ads Power BI report if needed. And let's proceed. You've successfully connected your Google Ads account. Now you can add more accounts if you'd like or connect other advertising apps to build a full-fledged PPC report. I'll settle for just one app for now and jump to the next stage. Here you can preview and transform your data. For example, I'll add the CPV bid column to the mix and remove the account name since it's identical for all rows. I'll also add a filter. I want to fetch from Google Ads to Power BI only the ad groups that garnered 1,000 or more impressions. Sort data and create custom formulas if you like. Once you're ready, proceed to the destination setup. Generate an integration URL and copy it. Enable also a schedule to refresh your data as often as you need, for example, hourly, seven days a week, and run the importer. Now jump to Power BI Desktop. Open the Get Data menu and choose Web. Paste the URL you previously copied and click OK. Power BI will evaluate the query and shortly it will pull up a Power Query screen with a preview of your data. If everything checks out, click Close and Apply. Give it a few more seconds and you'll see the imported column in the data pane to the right. Off you go! Before we wrap up, I wanted to show you one more thing you may find really interesting. It's a PPC dashboard template for Power BI that you can grab for free and makes yours within minutes. It seamlessly connects to data from Google Ads, but you can also merge it with importers from other advertising platforms like Facebook or LinkedIn Ads. All in all, it will give you an extensive comparison between different platforms and a way to see all your PPC data in a single place. Follow the link in the corner of your screen, whichever one, to download it for free. And that's it. Now you know how to load Google Ads data to Power BI. But if you do have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share the video with others, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a thing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.